inputs over that as well. Well, we are learning from our sources that Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi will be visiting Jammu on September 14th. He will be holding a mega rally in Jammu ahead of the assembly elections of 2024. Our senior editor Pallavi continues to stay on with us on the broadcast. Pallavi, if we were to ask you about the popularity of Prime Minister, specifically in Jammu, because they are not focusing much on Kashmir at this point of time. The war is all about the manifestos from National Conference as well as Congress. But Jammu looks like the stronghold of BJP. I think we lost connection uh, with our senior editor over there. We'll try to reconnect those lines. But as of now, the big update that we have received from our sources with regards to the poor preparedness by the BJP side in Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir is that Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi will be visiting Jammu on September 14th, right ahead of the elections in Jammu and Kashmir as well. He is going to hold this mega rally in Jammu ahead of the assembly elections, which are slated to uh, be held there in Jammu and Kashmir. What exactly does the poll preparedness from BJP side exactly looks like? We'll have to see. We'll bring you more details with regards to Prime Minister's uh, popularity in Jammu as well and how strong BJP's hold is going to be specifically in Jammu. In fact, we have our uh, exe executive editor, Raman uh, Sharma, joining us on the broadcast. Raman, a very good morning to you. I wanted to ask Pallavi about this. Let's touch upon this particular topic, which is the popularity of Prime Minister Modi specifically in Jammu, because we know in Kashmir, a national conference and Congress is uh, manifesto war is at the moment going on when it comes to BJP's attack on them. But in Jammu, BJP looks like in a strong position. Well, yes, uh, Sasi, in Jammu, BJP has traditionally been very, very strong even in the last elections in the Lok Sabha or be it early in the assembly elections in 2014. Uh, we have seen the BJP literally sweep uh, the region of Jammu, but of course, the Prime Minister's popularity, I would say, in the present scenario, transcends the entire uh, Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. The Prime Minister is beginning his election campaign on the 14th, that is what we are hearing, with the first two rallies slated in uh, Doda region, in Jammu region, on the 14th from the Prime Minister. But we are also told that the Prime Minister will also be campaigning in the Kashmir Valley uh, soon because that area goes to polls in the second phase mostly and in some, some in the first phase as well. So the Prime Minister would be aggressively campaigning in Jammu and Kashmir elections. And of course, the BJP's major poll agenda, which also the Prime Minister could reiterate during his campaign, is that the, uh, that the BJP government is the one which abrogated Article 370 in JNK. And that is what has led to the transformation of the Union territory. The Prime Minister also on the floor of the Parliament and on various other occasions has promised that statehood will be restored at an opportune time in JNK soon after uh, the elections, assembly elections are held. That is another promise the BJP could reiterate during the campaign when the Prime Minister starts it. We had Mr. Amit Shah in, the, in uh, Jammu a few days back launching the manifesto of the party and the mm. Prime Minister could be laying out in greater detail the promises of the manifesto when he begins this campaign from the 14th to rallies uh, in the Jammu region. Right. Uh, Amar, please stay on with us. We have Ishan Mani also joining us on the broadcast. Ishan, if you were to talk about BJP's popularity, specifically in Jammu, what exactly does that look like? Because we had Union Home Minister visiting Jammu, also launching scathing attack at the opposition, also talking about, uh, you know, no peace talks with uh, Pakistan at this point of time, looking at the tensions between both the nations. At this time, since we are learning, Prime Minister is also going to visit Jammu. How exactly is that going to pan out for the BJP? Uh, well, what BJP expects is that the Prime Minister's popularity will help them gain more seats in the Jammu region. Uh, uh, we saw that there was a, some bit of dip in the poll per share, uh, percentage of uh, votes uh, in the BJP. Uh, that's in Jammu region in the lo last Lok Sabha election that took place. Uh, so they would want to increase that and they would want the Prime Minister to come here and rejuvenate the crowds because when the BJP was able to gain, um, you know, uh, majority of the seats in the Jammu region uh, by uh, keeping the Congress out, they were riding high on the Hindutva wave and they would want that to continue. So that's why the visits of Prime Minister Amit Shah and all these leaders have been mostly focused on the Jammu region because that is where maximum number of seats the BJP is aiming to get because they have been getting good number of votes and good number of uh, you know, constituencies that are able to uh, gain from there. Even if you look at the data that the last Lok Sabha election uh, that was held recently, it shows that the BJP is able to retain maximum number of uh, you know seats. Though the National Conference was the single largest party in terms of the assemblies, if you dissect the data, but uh, you know uh, the, the, the BJP would want that uh, the Prime Minister's aura and the Prime Minister's speeches to resonate with the people in Jammu region, and that will turn the for fortunes in their favor uh, because uh, National Conference and the Congress together was able to you know uh, penetrate through certain 
certain areas of Poonch, Rajouri or Doda, which are Muslim dominated. So they would want uh, the Prime Minister to at least uh, have two rallies because it's expected that between one to two rallies will be conducted uh, in the Jammu region when the Prime Minister visits. Uh, but he's also expected to come to Kashmir before the poll season ends. But uh, yes, it's an important, significant for the BJP that the Prime Minister is coming there. So the Amisha, we saw that how he launched attacks on uh, you know Rahul Gandhi, Congress and the National Congress and the regional political parties. But the visit of Prime Minister is something with the, with the entire BJP leadership in JNK is looking forward to because they believe that when the Prime Minister will come to Jammu, uh, that he will be able to you know speak his heart out to the people of Jammu and uh, talk about the development, talk about how they have been able to end the militancy and how they plan to take Jammu and Kashmir forward in terms of development, peace and progress. Right. Ishan and Aman, thank you so much for bringing us all those crucial updates uh, straight from Jammu. We'll keep coming back to you for more details on that story right now.